one woman's struggles that once turned her into an addict are the same experiences that now enable her to help others. We have more in this special report, but first a warning that some of the details of the story may be disturbing. Look, I really love who I am. Like, I really, really love who I am. And I, that alone with all the extra stuff, the fact that I could even say that is like a miracle. 28 months ago, this wasn't the case. Kyle James is a mother, a widow, and a drug addict. Well, my drug of choice is opiates and alcohol. From the beginning, James lived a normal life. She met a Marine in Texas after graduating college, married him, and had two children that passed away at birth. Despite the pain, they tried to have another child and were blessed with a daughter named Phoenix. You would think it was everything that we were supposed to have. Every piece of it was what I wanted. But the reality was, you know, even after I had my daughter, everything just seemed to fall apart and I can't even put my finger on it to this day. She turned to pills to comfort the pain of burying her children. Her husband, upset as well from the death of his children and his own war trauma, hung himself from their bedroom ceiling fan one night after going out for a few drinks and having an argument with his wife. It was horrendous. I mean, it was a dark place that I don't think anybody could ever go to unless they're there at that time because I can't explain what it's like to blow breath into a dead body of somebody that you were so hoping is just not dead. James's life shattered and her addiction became rampant. At this point, I am taking so much medication and drinking to a point that um, shut my liver and my kidneys down. Um, I actually had a port that came out of my neck and I was on dialysis for six weeks. And even when I had a port coming out of my neck, I was still shooting Jack Daniels. Two years after all of the hardship, James finally hit rock bottom. The five words that every alcoholic and drug addict says even when they have everything that they want is, I wish I was dead. James's addiction got worse. She became a slave to the drug, taking numerous pills just to get out of bed. And with two young children, things needed to change. The reality of this disease, it's cunning, baffling, and powerful. And it will take anybody out in a matter of seconds. Her sole motivation was her son and her daughter. They led her to Graceway. The hardest part, like I said, is just getting here because once you get to the door, once you just walk through the door, you're no longer a junkie. You know, you are a recovering drug addict or you're no, you know, you're no longer a drunk. You're, you're a recovering alcoholic. So you make a huge step as soon as you enter the door. The process is intense, but it's vital. The recovery process, we do like four or five meetings a day and it's one-on-one -on -one counseling and you learn life skills, which make you feel good and you find your higher power along the way. It's not about becoming a whole new person. It's about becoming who you've always been. I don't count the years that I have under my belt. I count just for today. Kyle James is a mother, a widow, an addict, and now a counselor, helping guide others to recovery and helping them to find grace. Carrie Capello, Fox 31 News.